Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to explore something that holds everything in space together, gravity. You may have heard of gravity before, it's the force that keeps us grounded here on Earth. But did you know that gravity is also responsible for keeping everything in the solar system, and even the entire Milky Way galaxy, in place? So, what exactly is gravity, and how does it shape the way everything moves in space? Let's find out! Teachers, don't forget to click on the puzzle link in this video's YouTube description. Now, let's get started. Chapter 1, Gravity of the Sun Gravity is an invisible force that pulls objects toward each other. The more massive an object is, the stronger its gravitational pull. For example, Earth is much bigger than the Moon, so Earth's gravity is strong enough to keep the Moon in orbit around it. Now, gravity isn't just at work between the Earth and the Moon. It's what keeps all the planets in our solar system orbiting around the Sun. The Sun, being the most massive object in our solar system, it has a huge gravitational pull. This force pulls the planets toward it. In fact, the gravity is so strong, that all planets should have burned up in the sun a long time ago. The only thing keeping the planets from doing this is that they're moving. They're moving so fast that instead of falling into the sun, they spiral around it in circles, creating orbits. Think about water going down a drain. The water doesn't always go straight down, it sometimes will spin around the drain before falling in. While the planets do the same thing, except they're moving so fast, they actually won't be pulled in by the sun's gravity, but rather orbit it. Let's pause and check for understanding. Why don't the planets fall into the sun? Eh, the planets are moving so fast they escape the sun's gravity. B, the planets are far away from the sun, so it doesn't pull on them much. C, the planets are moving at a speed that causes them to orbit around the sun instead of falling into it. Chapter 2, Gravity of Other Planets Remember when we mentioned how Earth's gravity keeps its moon in orbit? Well Earth isn't the only planet in our solar system that does this. Just like Earth, Jupiter has gravity, actually, way more gravity. As a result, Jupiter has many moons that orbit around it, some of these moons are even larger than planets in our solar system. Each of Jupiter's moons orbit it, and cannot escape their orbit due to the planet's strong gravity. Mars, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune also each have moons. Even Pluto has a moon. Here's another check for understanding. Earth is the only planet with enough gravity to have a moon. A. True. B. False. Chapter 3, Gravity in the Galaxy Our solar system is just a small part of the galaxy we live in called the Milky Way. A galaxy is a place where a large group of stars gather together. This galaxy is home to billions of stars, planets, and other objects, and guess what? Gravity is at work here, too. It holds these stars all together. All stars in the Milky Way orbit around the galaxy's center. Gravity keeps the stars up in place. If gravity were to be turned off, all stars would just fly off into space. Just like how the sun's gravity holds our planets in orbit, the combined gravity of all the stars in the Milky Way holds the galaxy together. Quick question. What would happen if the gravity in the galaxy were to be turned off? A. Stars would fly off into space. B. Stars would collide with each other. C. The stars would stop moving. Since stars orbit the center of the galaxy, there has to be something there massive enough to make this happen. At the center of the Milky Way, there's a supermassive black hole. Black holes are regions in space where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. 
The black hole at the center of our galaxy has an enormous gravitational pull, and it helps keep everything in the galaxy, from the stars to the gas clouds, moving in the right direction. Here's another check for understanding. What is at the center of the Milky Way? A. A lot of stars. B. A supermassive black hole. C. A galaxy. Chapter 4, Gravity Throughout the Universe Without gravity, everything would drift apart. The stars, planets, and even entire galaxies would be scattered across space, never staying together. Gravity is the reason we have structure in our universe. But it's not just the Milky Way that relies on gravity. Every galaxy in the universe is held together by gravity. In fact, galaxies can even collide and merge, and gravity plays a huge role in shaping these cosmic events. When galaxies collide, their stars and other objects don't actually crash into each other because there's so much space between them. Instead, gravity pulls them together, creating new patterns and sometimes even forming new stars. Gravity is more than just something we experience here on Earth. It shapes the motion of planets, stars, galaxies, and even the entire universe. It's the invisible force that holds everything in place, from the smallest objects in our solar system to the largest structures in the galaxy. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that gravity is the reason everything stays where it is. Before we wrap up, let's do one last check. How do you think gravity influences the way galaxies move and form? Think about it, and remember, gravity is the reason everything in space doesn't just float away. How does gravity influence the way galaxies move and form? A. Gravity causes galaxies to stay in place without any movement. B. Gravity pulls galaxies together and helps them form new stars. C. Gravity causes galaxies to fall into black holes. Alright, before we go, Here's a quick review. Gravity is a force that pulls things together. The more massive something is, the more gravity it will have. The moons orbit planets, and the planets orbit the sun, all because of gravity. Even all the stars in our galaxy orbit around the center because of the gravity of the supermassive black hole. Galaxies themselves also have gravity and pull other galaxies towards them, causing collisions. These collisions result in the formation of new stars. That's all for today's journey through the solar system and the Milky Way. Thanks for watching.